Let's get our sales connected. Well, when people are looking for your company, they're probably not looking in phone books anymore. They're looking, obviously, on the internet and the web. We've got uh, Tony Hutchcroft from First on the List Promotion, a search engine optimization company. Yes. And you've been around forever. Since the beginning, since 1997. So it's been uh, 11 years. So why should someone get their website search engine optimized? Well, I think uh, customers should actually look at their website as a business. And in a business model, if you have a business, you need marketing. You need marketing to attract customers. Customers buy your product, there you have your product. It's a circle of life. Exactly. And it's the same with the website. If you treat it like a business, you need to have the marketing. And search engine optimization is marketing, essentially. Do you think a lot of businesses pay that much attention to it? More and more so in the last five years, yes. Really? Yes. And it used to be where offline advertising was the dominant factor and online advertising took maybe five or ten percent. And it's sort of over the last, especially four or five years, we've seen a shift. Large companies now are, I was just looking at some statistics yesterday of ten different companies and four of them were spending over fifty percent of their budget online as opposed to offline. So it's, it's a huge shift. So you're in a good space. We're in a good space. Yeah, the business has been good. So what are some of the components? You know, you know, if someone comes to you, how much is it going to cost to get my website optimized? Is, it, is that just a simple thing, or do you have to look at a bunch of different things? Yeah, you have to look at the whole package. Uh, do they have an existing website? Some people don't even have a website and want one built. Um, in which case, we can build them a search engine friendly op uh, website in a sense that it's built in a way that the search engines can navigate through the website and get to the information that they want to get to. Um, we also do keyword research, find out what customers or people are searching on the internet to find their business and services. We also research the competition to see what the competition is doing. And then, if they have an existing website, we do a site analysis, server and site analysis, to see if there's any issues in the back end that need to be corrected before we even get started on the optimization. And then after the keyword research, we'll develop content, website uh, content that support the keyword research. We'll either work with the existing content on their site or we'll develop new pages that support their keyword, uh, the keywords that they've chosen. And then from there, um, we do uh, Google Analytics analysis, reports, um, so that it's a package that's extended over usually a year. So, I mean, there's a number of different ways to advertise market on the internet. Uh, search engine marketing, uh, like search marketing or mm -hmm. online advertising. Uh, what do you recommend as far as you know allocating your dollars between that kind of stuff and search engine optimization? It really depends on your business and if you're uh, trying to attract most of your business through the website. There are people that have brick and mortar stores that have gone online and their online sales have surpassed their brick and mortar sales. And, and that's a reality. But if you're strictly an online business, then you, like you said, you need to have the marketing to attract the customers to sell their products to have your profit. So as far as uh, size of business, like what are we looking at? Like, Do you have to have a certain size before you would recommend doing the search engine? Uh, no, we've worked with one-man operations and we've worked with five, uh, Fortune 500 companies. So it, and in every sector that you can think of, whether it's industrial, we work with lawyers, um, we've worked with um, the uh, cruise and entertainment industry. Um, basically, it could be anything, even mole traps, believe it or not. So, As far as your customer base, what are you seeing? Like, Are you mostly Canadian, some US? Uh, in the beginning, we were pretty much 95, 98% American. And, uh, and I think it was the logistics of the dollar, Canadian dollar versus the American dollar. There was more money there, but it seemed like at the time more American companies were interested in doing it than Canadian companies in, in a sense that, uh, I don't know why, but they seemed to trust uh, our expertise. I don't know if it doesn't make any sense, but after 9-11, uh, there's, there's sort of a shift. People weren't spending the money, and then our dollar value sort of caught up and became on par. So now our customer base is pretty much 50% American, 50% Canadian. Are you finding Canadian businesses maybe more conservative in that area than U.S.? They have been for a long time, but that's changing. And we've noticed a, certainly a, a big shift in that. You know, Canadian business, are, it's funny because Canada is the most internet savvy yes. uh, when it comes to doing searches. And there was a study done a few years ago where uh, most Americans still use one and two word keyword phrases. Uh, European countries use two and three word key, uh, phrases. And Canada seemed to use three and four and five string keyword phrases. So we were more internet savvy, but businesses were a little bit more hesitant about putting money into the websites. But that's changing. Where can people find out more info? On your website? On our website. Uh, they can look at us at uh, www.seo-promotioninc.com and uh, yeah, or, or through basically Yellow Pages. Over there. The old fashioned way. The old fashioned way still works. <laughs> Tony Hutchcroft uh, from First on List Promotions, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you.
Let's get ourselves connected.